वेलकम बैक दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम 2008 गेट एग्जाम इट्स फॉर वन मार्क्स लेट्स रीड द स्टेटमेंट कंसीडर अ हाइपोथेटिकल प्रोसेसर विद एन इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ टाइप एल डब्ल्यू आर वन कॉमन ट्वेंटी ऑफ आर टू विच ड्यूरिंग एग्जीक्यूशन रीड्स अ 32 बिट वर्ड फ्रॉम मेमरी एंड स्टोर इट इन अ 32 बिट रजिस्टर आर वन द इफेक्टिव एड्रेस ऑफ मेमरी लोकेशन इज ऑप्टेन्ड बाय एडिशन ऑफ अ कॉन्स्टेंट ट्वेंटी and the contents of register r2 okay so this means this in instruction lw is for load word load word into this register named r1 so you are loading something into this register now the data that has to be loaded in this register will be found on this address what's this address it's 20 plus contents of register r2 for example say we have saved 7 in r2 then this means go to address 20 plus 7 which is 27 there you will find your actual operand you load that operand into this register r1 okay now let's read the statement which of the following best reflects the addressing mode implemented by this instruction for the operand in memory that means we need to find the addressing mode used by this operand this operand is taken from memory okay first of all this is a constant okay 20 is a constant and it's mentioned in the question only the statement says a constant 20 yeah memory location is obtained the address of memory location is obtained by the addition of a constant 20 and the contents of register r2 so the word constant indicates this can be a base address okay base address equal to 20 second thing is index is specified by this register r2 okay so this is indexed addressing mode or base indexed addressing mode now we'll also analyze the options answer is d part base indexed addressing mode but still let's analyze the options first one is immediate addressing no it's not immediate addressing immediate addressing means whatever bits are specified here they are the data itself or they are the operand itself we don't specify any address in immediate addressing second is register addressing no that's it's not register addressing because had it been register addressing we would have specified only name of a register but there we have also here we have also specified a constant so it's not register addressing by the way register addressing means we just specify the name of a register which contains our data or operand c part is register indirect scaled addressing it's not also register indirect because in register indirect indirect what happens we specify name of a register but this register instead of containing the data contains a address of memory location okay so it's not register indirect and the word scaled scaled means scaling is done automatically by the processor or by the addressing mode used for example say this is some array it's mostly used for accessing arrays or sometimes in structures also say its base address is 70 and each element is of 10 bytes or 10 words now the address or index of this element this one is going to be 2 because this is 0 this is 1 this one will be 2 then the effective address will be 70 plus 2 into 10 yeah you will get the base address of this this address is 70 this address is 80 and this address is 90 
सो बेस एड्रेस ऑफ अवर रिक्वायर्ड एलिमेंट और कॉलम इज 90 एंड दिस इज हाउ यू गेट 90 बट इफ यू यूज स्केल्ड इंडेक्स स्केल्ड एड्रेसिंग मोड देन यू नीड नॉट डू दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन यू जस्ट से 70 प्लस टू दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन विल बी इम्प्लीसिट दैट मीन्स वट एवर इंडेक्स यू हैव स्पेसिफाइड विल ऑटोमेटिकली बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द स्केलिंग फैक्टर ओके एनी वेज दैट्स नॉट द आंसर आंसर इज डी पार्ट विच इज बेस इंडेक्सड एड्रेसिंग मोड एंड दिस एड्रेसिंग मोड इज मोस्टली यूज फॉर अरेस दिस इज ट्वेंटी इज बेस एड्रेस ऑफ अरे 